Hello, everyone, and welcome. Once again, it is Taylor, joined by Rick. For... <laughs> you sound like D from Always Sunny when she's doing her vlogs. You can look it up on YouTube. I don't want to look it up on YouTube. All right, never mind. Go ahead with your, your intro. Or just look at me with disdain. That's fine, too. Anyway, um, once again, we are playing some Dream Daddy, a dad dating simulator made by the Game Grumps. Uh, hopefully we're gonna be meeting some dads soon. I wanna do some dad voices. Ah, uh, you will be able to do plenty of dad voices. I will give you first pick. Cool. Alright. Am I supposed to read this? Is yes. this a new one? Yeah, this is, yes. But I won't forget it. She ignored our dad pun about her being a senior citizen because she is a senior in high school to refresh everyone's memory. I thought it was quite a wonderful joke. So what's item number one on the new house agenda? Well, first we'll need to forge a path through the solid wall of boxes that's blocking the living room. I still have to install the washer and dryer. We need to go grocery shopping. Pops, cool your jets. You have to promise me that we're going to take a break and explore the neighborhood. Okay, okay. You're right. We'll get some work done and then check the area out. We pull up to the new house and step outside. The lawn is freshly mown, and the for sale sign is still in the yard. Oh, oh bitch, it's not for sale anymore. Off the market, bitch. <laughs> -ya! Oh, God. And with a swift kick from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. Way to go, Amanda. Nice form, sweet pea. I got a problem with authority! Oh, I'm sure that's exactly how she sounds. I'm so proud. Yeah. Man, all that karate chopping tuckered me out. I could really go for a sandwich. An ice cream sandwich. Sweetie, it's 10 a.m. That's never stopped me. <laughs> uh, that, that is you. Yeah, but this is you. Add coffee. Yeah. <laughs> I need some coffee ASAP. <laughs> the old bean juice or I'm going to be useless all day. I bet he wants some bean juice. Some, some man bean juice? Some dad bean juice. Oh, I think we passed a coffee shop on the way here. Maybe we could check that out. Let's do it. So enthused. Do it. Eat plenty of carbs the night before a big game. We walk down the street to the Coffee Spoon, a cute little place on the corner. Hi. Man, this is in such convenient walking distance from our place. I wish we had a coffee. That doesn't bother me. I mean, I guess. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? Why would I go somewhere else and drink coffee on a couch when I could just drink better coffee at home on my own couch and not have to make awkward eye contact with other people? Story of your life. Story of your life? What? I don't drink coffee that often. At least when I'm home, some random guy isn't going to come up and sit on the recliner next to me and I won't feel like a little weird about it because technically he's not sitting at my table but he's very much within my personal zone so remember in the other episode where i, I said rectum yes okay with that i just thought um that sit on my face dad and what's what's the etiquette when you have a dirty mug is there a bin do you go set it up on the counter because you don't know where else to put it or do you leave it there and feel your face flush hot with shame as you consider the possibility that there is in fact a bin somewhere just out of sight and now you're that jerk dad. left their mug dad are you just afraid to meet new people yes amanda we walk inside hey. glorious oh what a hug. He's, he's actually the dad I'm considering romancing. It makes a mulatto baby. I already got one mulatto baby. And by make mulatto babies, I mean adopt mulatto babies. Jesus. The inside of the coffee shop is incredibly warm and inviting. Vinyl records line the walls and patrons lounge around on well-worn in couches. Some cool tunes spin on a record player next to a little stage. Uh -oh. Hey, Jazzy. Oh, shit. Do you want to be back? Mmm, nah. Yeah, I couldn't figure one out. Welcome to the coffee spoon, guys. How's it going? What? He doesn't sound cool at all. What's the name? Hey, dude. Oh, it's, uh, it's kind of dumb. Oh. 
it gets mentioned in this poem I like, and I thought it was a good idea at the time, and I suppose now it's still a good idea because, like, the business is still running. But people ask me that question all the time, and I give them the same answer every time, and now I'm standing here rambling, and I'm sure we're all getting more and more uncomfortable, and the more I keep talking, but man, we're in it now, and I can't stop. Hey. Ooh, sounds like a perfect match already. <laughs> Anxiety! So what'll oh. it be? I scan the chalkboard menu and I'm immediately overwhelmed. I'll have a... Uh... Uh, ice, Tegan, and Sarah, Chai, and... Oh my god. I, I do like chai tea, so I think I'm gonna go with the chai ant word. Me banging my head against the fucking microphone. <laughs> it's Jesus Christ. Hey. Oh, ooh, ooh. What did you do? I chose something good because Look, he's got an erection now. He's got, yes! I'm romancing him already. Sapaishi. You can hear it too. It went against he, the... he thinks my decision is Sapaishi. Spicy? Or spicy? Spicy. Spicy. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, it's a pun. Die ant word. I don't know. Die ant word. Die ant word. I mean, it's chai tea. The... I think it's actually D ant word. Why would it be chai ant word if it was D ant? -word? I think it's supposed to be a play on words. It doesn't work they're, like that. They're pretty well known for their uh, evocative imagery and hyper stylized music videos. Their music is as catchy as it is disturbing. I've never heard that. I'm Nothing. doing the thing again. <laughs> but coming right up. And it's for you? Not the only thing that's gonna be coming. I'll have a macchiato de Marco, please. My dick is gonna be coming up. Oh. <laughs> coming right up. Do you want that in small, medium, or biggie smalls? Or medium. Uh, medium. Ah. Wait, is biggie smalls big or small? Uh, I should change that. Matt sets to making our drinks and Amanda and I take a seat on one of the couches. What's his deal? Yeah. Let the man make his puns. Like the cooler bands that we listen to anyway. <laughs> what's the deal with it not being in my mouth? <laughs> hey! Hey! Ska was cool once. This couch is actually pretty comfy. Maybe not comfier than our couch, but it's alright. Good love bar sink right into it. God, I need bar support. Okay, it's comfier than our couch. Amanda nudges. Huh. This place is right next to our house, and that guy seems not only cool, but And to also have a raging heart on for me. Just as uncomfortable with talking to other people as you are. You should totally become friends with him. So far, he is my number one contender. Only we haven't. I'm mean, just judging from the uh, the profile, like the the artwork. Like the the menu. Yeah, in the main menu. I he's, barely he's... paid attention to that, and we had it going for like an hour. Yeah, I paid attention to it for like the whole time we had it going, and it is it's between him and like two others, and I'll I'll point them out when we meet them. All right. But I would appreciate your input because I mean, if you're gonna be playing it with me, I want us to both romance. Ooh, tag team romance. Yes. Saucy. Uh, I don't know. Come on, what did we say about meeting new people? I can't meet new people if I always stay inside and also don't go outside and also don't talk to people. See, we're making progress. Matt sets our drinks down at our table and I immediately burn the roof of my mouth. Good one. Hi, we're new in the neighborhood. I'm Amanda, and this is my dad, Rick. And we're going to get to know Matt a little bit more next time. Thank you all for joining us on this episode of Dream Daddy. Uh, hopefully you're enjoying it as much as we are. Hopefully you're enjoying Matt as much as we are. Please remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you all next time. Bye! She said y'all.